So we, in this video, I want to explain how to write the equation of a sine or a cosine graph. So let me write the equation of a sine or a cosine graph. It can be given by this form, so with this formula, y is equal to a times sine or cos. I'll explain why it can be, this graph can be written as a sine graph or a cosine graph times 360 divided by b times x minus c plus d. So if you remember, this is the amplitude. This number gives you the amplitude. b is the period. c is the starting point. sp is the starting point, And d is the baseline. Okay, so if you can figure out A, B, C, D, you can write the equation as a sine or a cosine graph. Now, from the starting point, you can decide whether it's a sine graph or a cosine graph. So, let me explain. If the starting point, if the starting point is baseline, if the starting point is baseline, and the graph is going up, then it is a positive sine graph. If the starting point, so if you remember this format, if the starting point is the baseline, and from the baseline if it is going down, it is a negative sine graph. So we have discussed, we have seen this in the, we saw this yesterday. Okay, so and if the starting point, if the starting point is maximum if the starting point is maximum obviously it is going to go down and then it is a positive cost graph and if the starting point is minimum and from minimum obviously it has the graph will go up so it will be a negative cost graph so this is we're going to write this equation as a sine graph and a cosine graph so everything depends on the starting point. So, so let's take this as the starting point. So let's call this as the starting point. If that's the starting point, from the starting point, the starting point is at the minimum and it is going up. So it's a negative cost graph. Okay, so let's start that. So let's write starting point. Your starting point is... 60 comma 2 which is minimum so this implies it is a negative cost graph okay so that's the first decision we need to make so now to identify find a b and c a b c d we'll have to write let's write uh, okay so first tell me Okay, so what's the maximum? So maximum is at 6. This is the maximum. The maximum is 6. And the minimum, the graph goes down till 2. So your, uh, the baseline, baseline is halfway between the maximum and minimum. So baseline would be 6 plus 2 divided by 2. So it's the average of the maximum and minimum, which is 8 divided by 2. So your baseline is 4. So just to explain, so if you draw a line like this from 4, so this is the baseline. So can you see? This is the baseline. So this is y equal to 4 is the baseline. Okay, and the distance from the baseline to the maximum or minimum is called the amplitude. So this distance, let me use a different color. So this distance is the amplitude. So if this is 4, from 4 to 6 the distance is, the distance is 2. So the amplitude, amplitude is 2. Okay, so so this is baseline is 
what is baseline baseline is d so i can say this is this is d amplitude is a okay so now we need to figure out what is b b is the period period is basically the wavelength what is the length that means you're looking at horizontal distance so well if you take if you take the horizontal length say from 60 if you go from 60 to 150 it's a quarter cycle or from 60 to 240 is half a cycle so 60 to 240 is one this is how much 180 60 plus 180 is 240 so you can say the period is 360 the period is 360 degrees or if you go from 60 to this is a quarter cycle this is a quarter cycle so 60 to 120 sorry 150 is uh, a quarter cycle is 90 so 60 plus 90 is 150 so a quarter cycle is 90 so a full cycle is 360 or if you go from here this point minus 120 to plus 240 is this is wavelength this distance is period or wavelength so whichever way you look from one point to the suck to the next successive point is the horizontal distance is from minus 120 so this is minus 120 to plus 240 so that's a period of 360 and that's it and the starting point is your starting point so let me change color your starting point which is C I'm going to take as 60 so from this is the first decision we have, we, we have taken 60 to be the starting point and from here this is a cost graph so writing as a cost graph it's a negative cost graph so I'll write amplitude a is 2 times it's a negative cos graph so it's negative cos times using the formula 360 divided by 360 is going to be 1 times x minus c c is 60 plus the baseline is 4 so this is one writing it as a cos graph if you took 240 as the starting point from 240 it is a positive cos graph because you are starting at the maximum so if you're starting at 240 the equation would be 2 times cos 360 divided by 360 is 1 times x minus 240 plus 4 okay now if you take okay let me change color if you start at 150 you're going up so from baseline if you're going up it's a positive sign graph so writing as a sine graph y is equal to 2 times sine again 360 divided by 360 is 1 x minus 150 plus 4 so let me show this on a calculator or desmos so all these equation stands or uh, is is basically the same graph okay so let me show you my calculator okay so let me bring this in okay so yeah you first I had to change my settings go to graph and I had to change this into degrees first so first I'll change this in degrees exit and let me type in the first so you can go two times negative cos bracket x minus 60 close the bracket plus 4 I have to change the settings so first before I draw it I'll go to shift f3 I want a trig scale so let me make a trig scale of minus 540 to 5 plus 540 and let me change the y say from minus 5 minus 10 to plus 10 minus 10 to plus 10 scale of 1 and then draw it so 
So go F. So this is your graph. So you go G sol. So you go maximum minus 480. So if you go 126, that's what we had. And if you keep pressing 246. G sol minimum. G sol minimum. So if you keep scrolling, 62. Okay. And this is 420 and so on. So just to check, when x is 150, okay, so let me show you that. So when x was 150, y was 4. So to sh do that, so you go G sol, F6, Y calc, when x is 150, y should be 4. 154, okay. So let me type in the second equation, 2 times cos bracket x minus 240, okay, x minus 240 plus 6, plus 4, sorry. That will give you the same graph, it should give you the same graph. And if you type in, again, 2 times sine bracket x minus 150 close the bracket plus 4 all refers to the same graph so it has drawn all the three graphs but it is the same graph okay so as a challenge your if you start at say if you start at this point from this point it is a negative sine graph so if you go half a cycle, so 150 take away 180, so this coordinate, so if you want to write the coordinate from this point, this would be minus 30 comma 4. Now from this point, it will be a negative sine graph. So let me repeat myself. So the, from this point, it's a cos graph. From this point, it is going down. From baseline, you're going down. So it's a negative sine graph. From this point, it's a negative cos graph. This is a positive sine graph. And from here, it's a cos graph. So any graph, any sine or cosine graph, can be written uh, as four different equations. Or you can write a number of equations. Everything will depend where you are starting and where you are going from the starting point. So from the, if you're, if it's a maximum, obviously, it's a positive cause, positive cause graph. And if it is minimum, it's a negative cause graph. But from the baseline, if you're going down, it's a negative sine graph. And from the baseline, if you're going up, it's a positive cause sine graph.